Hello everyone, welcome back to EU4, playing with the Anbanar Total Conversion mod. It's been a while since we played this mod, and several updates have been made for it since we played. Um, so, I've chosen to play as Gawet. It's one of the major players in... I think this continent is called Kanor? I'm not really sure, but I think it is. Anyways, it's one of the major players at the start of the game. Though, of course, they are facing several problems. At least to what I can tell. So, basically, Anbanar, regarding the mod. It's a total conversion mod, if you don't know it. It's a rather popular one. I think it's like... It's in the top 10 of uh, mods for EU4. I think I'm just gonna... Uh, there we go, I think. Uh, it's one of the top 10 mods in EU4. It's it's like Dungeons and Dungeons and Dragons mod with so you don't only have humans you have orcs elves ogres trolls halflings gnomes etc. It's a very detailed mod and um, I'm very impressed by it. So Gavet or G uh, Gavet I'm not sure if that's how you say it. It's um, a major power up here in the north of this continent, threatening their neighbors, and we, uh, we're a human uh, nation, as you can see here, we have special bonuses, and each of the races, they get special uh, bonuses in terms of what they feel, so ogres, for example, they have, if I remember correctly, they do a lot more shock damage, but they don't get as much manpower. Um, and other bonuses and uh, debuffs. So the human military is very standard, obviously. Humans <laughs> is the standard currency in terms of uh, races. Uh, yeah, and we can also, if we wanted, we can integrate other cultures and then we can swap uh, the military to other uh, uh, races. As you can see here, if we swap to halflings, we get a bunch of other bonuses, like more manpower, recovery, cheaper mercs, um, our galleys and cavalry becomes bad though, get more mercenary manpower, but they receive more shock damage and do less sh shock damage, but the mercenary discipline, discipline is up, uh, but they also do less morale damage, and that's like with all the different races here, as you can see, very cool little mechanic, now that we have others than just humans here. And you can also, in terms of uh, population, oppress or coexist with other races. Uh, we are humans here, as you can see, so everything is fine and dandy. Um, let's just close this. Right, so we get this event when we start the game. It says, the coast in flux. For almost a thousand years, the reavers and kobolds of the Dragon Coast conducted raids across the Hellenic frontier, leaving only burned homes and devious traps in their wake. In 1399, we helped liberate the Gnomish Pass from the Reavers, returning it to the Gnomes after which it is named. Since then, trade has flourished between our people, and raids on, the, on that border have faded to distant memory. However, the situation is unstable. The little monsters still control the northern pass, and the reavers are sailing without Laurentish interference yet again. Our subjects, the Moor Lords, still suffer regular raids and request our aid. As the kobolds seemingly grow prepared to drive our gnomish allies back into the sea, the future of the Dragon Coast hangs in the balance. King William III has decreed that though a further cooperation with the governors, no, <coughs> with the gnomes, we will see the Dragon Coast pacified for good. If the gnomes fail, however, we may need to take matters into our own hands. Gnomes are better neighbors than kobold tribes. So we become better friends with Nimscot, or Nimscot, I'm not sure how it's said, which is right here, which is a gnomish. Uh, country, obviously. So the Dragon Coast is like this area here. 
You can see this peninsula. It looks like a dragon head, somewhat, with the mouth here, right, and the snout, the brow, etc. So we have kobolds running a rock, running amok here, and also up here, I believe. That's also kobolds, green scale. Yeah, kobolds, rough. Um, we have, I think, three subjects. We have Westmoors up here, which is a big uh, swamp area. Then we have uh, this small fella here, Vistval, north of Vistval, and this is south of Vistval. It's divided. I think they're under Laurent rule, yeah. And then we have uh, this fella here, Pear View, which they're halflings. I think they're halflings, right? How do you see that easily? By looking here? I guess so. Yeah. Halflings as well. Also halflings over here. So, the mission tree for Gavet is very focused on conquering their neighbors. And that's it. It's not a very deep mission tree. I've seen mission trees in other nations that's a lot deeper. But we're probably not going to play until the end of the game here. It depends. I don't think so, at least. But we'll do a bit of a conquering... Just testing out the mod again, and maybe do another one after that. Maybe somewhere in the in New World, <laughs> or this versions of uh, Africa or Asia. So, I played Ogus before over here. I played Busila, I think that was our last playthrough. I also played Jadari or something over here that's like Sun Elves. Um, I think that's it in terms of at least online here. Anyways, we have Gavet. Our capital is here in Gavaton. I guess we can just quickly look at our ideas. I'll read the flavor text once we actually get to them. Not that they're very, very long. I feel like Gavet needs an update compared to some of the other areas they have updated. But anyways, we have starter traditions, which gives us manpower plus 20% and regiment cost minus 15%. And our finisher is infantry compatibility plus 10. I'll just hover the mouse over them and you can see them and when we'll... When we, once we actually get to them, uh, we can read them and talk about them. But very focused on, well, a military overall. A militaristic race. Anyways, so there's a lot of explaining here in the first episode, I guess. We have this regent court. We can pick a deity of this pantheon of gods. Um, there's one that gives admin, which is very handy. Uh, plus one. And... Uh, uh, Legitimacy, uh, which I think I want to take. Uh, Armor tradition and movement is also very nice when you're at war, obviously, manpower here. But getting another monarch point is very handy, especially because our king, King William III Gerwig, he's a bit shit. One, two, two and indulgent. Uh, here, switch region court rules. Not do that right now. Our enemy is Laurent, which is a big elven nation, which I'm not too deep into the Anbana law, uh, lore backstory. I know a bit of it. But Laurent is down here, and they're like elves. And um, I think they arrived with their own homeland that was destroyed over to the west, like, uh, I'm not sure if it's the hundreds hundreds uh, of years ago. But anyways, Laurent and Gawet, they have had a couple of wars, I think. So there's going to be a bit of animosity. They're very strong. They also have subjects down here, as you can see. And if we looked at the great power status, I think they're up here. Yeah. Slightly more development than us. Uh, but hopefully we can change that. The command, that's uh, like a big hobgoblin nation over in to the Far East, and this is like India, sort of, or parts of India. Yeah, uh, so let's see, our ideas, uh, Wars of Dominion, be it a war with Laurent, that's probably going to happen, Race Invasion Force, number of generals one, and we need to use 75% of our force limit, and we're using what at the moment? 36 of 75, that's like three three quarters we need to use. The Half of 50 would be 25. 
So we only need like a couple more infantry or something, then we should be able to get the force to him at least. Uh, head up here. I guess we'll hire general immediately. Whoa, there you go. Uh, three fire, that's a bit shitty, but oh well. Let's also mothball. Get some money. Uh, do it D it? I suppose so. Uh, clergy. Uh, Alan K. Subject. Where's that? That's up there. Is that difficult? Blue Reachmen. Is that humans? I wish I could see here just immediately if they were humans, but I think they are. Gerudian. I think that's human. I guess I could click the thing. No? Hmm. What the flip is this? Adventurers. Oh, right. You can get events where you can get adventurers like. A Dungeons and uh, Dragon uh, adventure group to come and do something for you. Um, that's not impossible, I think. Income? No, have at least 750 gold. Jesus. Local autonomy above minimum 25%. The proposal. Westmere. I want more autonomy. Oh? I could do this. Wouldn't that fix this? Proposal of the mages. I guess we'll do this and then do this. I think that will fix it. <laughs> oh, we got this because we lowered autonomy. Right. <laughs> so, raise invasion force. Those southern fools are weak from their petty lilac wars. Lilac? Mm, we must create the largest army the world has ever seen to show them how war is done. We get two permanent claims on Vitesk and Flood Marches. Mm, sure. I think we'll get another event here. Event once I unpause. There we go. And we complete the agenda. Nice. Derek Deland. Derek Deland was born and raised in Selmeldor. To the influential Deland family, prominent merchants who made their wealth through trade, trading fabrics along the reach. The Deland family, however, fell ill, fell into hard times, blaming favorable treatment towards elven merchants. On their failure, on their failure, Derek came to the court of Gawet seeking their aid in return for his, his expertise and connections. When Derek arrived, it, it seems like they were missing some punctuations or, yeah, commas. <laughs> when Derek arrived, Gawet was greatly indebted in order to support the grand ambitions of Prince William III. Smelling opportunity, Derek created an advisory board, the Board of Magnates. Composed of the most prominent merchant families of the realm, they would advise the king on financial matters. Under their careful guidance, Gawet was brought back from the brink, and to this day they advise the king on financial matters, bringing great wealth to both the Gawetti treasury and their own pockets. We're just gonna go with the law-friendly version <laughs> to shared prosperity. We get until 1494. Taxes, interest down, Global trade, but the magnates holds a bit more power. Magnet Council will be okay. We can't remove it until year sixteen hundred. <laughs> oh damn. Okay, fine. So right, uh, estates. I guess you want to do this, right? Get those points up and running. <laughs> Maybe. It's gonna piss off our subjects, though. Uh, yeah, let's actually not do more than that. <laughs> All right. Um, low crown. Yeah, I forgot about that. Hmm. Oh well. Okay. Hit up there. So I just looked at the at Gawet before starting, um, just to check out how they were situated. So. We got this, so we got claims on the Tesk and Floodlands down here, right? Okay. Um, mm, 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 mm. We want to integrate Westmore. So let's put. Uh, is it like this? You want no? It's the other way. Here we go. Let's put a um, diplomat. And um, 
marriage there and also relations here right and build the bulwark right over here so another short story here out here where we can't see a lot of stuff there once was great human nations kingdoms but they all got overrun like i want to say like 30 years ago or something like that in this timeline <laughs> by orcs and devastated that whole area and a lot of uh, people fled so now it's mostly inhabited by orcs but um, there's a lot of smaller nations where you can go out and colonize this area and form various uh, nations again including orcs can form stuff and yeah so it's all been devastated over here but that's because there's a mission here build the bulwark it says with the green tide which is what it was called when orcs ran down from big mountain range over here the serpent spine i think they're called mountain range anyways with the green tide came a massive influx of refugees to our borders and an ever-present danger of orcish invasion from the east our chief engineer suggests we embark on a project to man and fortify our easternmost provinces and to create a wall to keep them all out make a wet great again <laughs> okay yep i get that so we want a fort here and then all these three needs uh, three manpower this one got three already need one more here and two more here and a fort if i remember correctly yes and then we get defensiveness there till the end of the game and i think uh, we can also do stuff down here become an empire that's not something right now workshop or counting house we can't do that invade no invest in rural estates we can't do that either right now okay so i guess we'll unpause a bit just a second here let things run uh i guess we i don't know do we want to mothball our forts we have six forts to him one okay wex announced us as the rival okay hmm. can see something a swamp so we have the age of the green uh, bu, 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 green tide here so they also have their own ages which is very cool uh, so you can see what we need to do it's mostly the same ish as um well some of them at least as in normal u4 at least up here then we have a couple of special ones for cultures and all nations uh being orcs monstrous rule okay c not sure where this is they changed a bunch since last time i played being ogres my lord hmm. nascent civilization right what is this the 10th Panth pantheonic council right i think it's something about a new patron yeah uh, the rituals and forms associated with the pantheon pantheonic council laid down in the centuries since worship of the regent court was first codified there must be a gathering of every deity's high priest there must be at least seven days of of discussion a further seven days of debate there are required rites of thanksgiving of the divination of worship none of those rules were followed in the so-called 10th pantheonic council it was a conclave of unruly adventurer clerics many barely literate in the teachings of the deity led by the previously unknown dominic of gallows peak it is less a discussion than wild speculation corin was not slain in truth but instead moved beyond cursed Akradas's heresy and ascended to take that fallen god's place in the court or perhaps it less a proclamation than a wildfire these beliefs grew fast amongst iskani adventurers followed them back to their homes across canor and they spread like a spark in dry kindling william well yam <laughs> sounds like uh, william the third has well noted the growing faith in her ascension and it seems today the temples themselves have issued statements agreeing to this status they note further discussion 
is necessary about her relation to Agrados and all his failings. But they shall not stand before the tide. Let it be proclaimed across Gawet, so all may learn, that Corin has joined the Regent Court as goddess of war, bravery, and heroism. A newcomer to the court? No. Oh, we shall uh, convert to her. Morale and shock damage, very nice, but I want to keep Castellas. So Corin, if I remember correctly, was a warrior, female warrior, who defeated the old chieftain who led this green tide over here towards the west in single combat, but she died as well, I think. So, and now she's been elevated to a god, according to some. I think that's like the Protestant version <laughs> in, in this game. Uh, it hasn't spa spawned yet, but I think uh, at some point it will spawn, where you can convert to the Koranite faith, I think it's called. <laughs> We're Craven as well, Jesus. Okay, what a shitty king. Hmm, William. Right, hopefully we can do something good here. So we also have the HRE here, instead it's the Empire of Anbana, with these borders here. Wex is the emperor right now. So we need to be careful when invading. Uh, let's just please our neighbors right now. So we are earning not a whole lot, but a bit. We could hire... Ooh, inflation. I don't think we have any, but I'd rather have that than anything else. It's not that expensive. We'll take morale. Mm. And reputation. Sure. 766. Elves block progress. Right. So sometimes you get these events, like random events, like in U4. Uh, they're just a bit different here. So increased tolerance of elves. We don't really like elves. So why don't you just F off? You have to come here legally. Right, so we need to boost this to get a bit more defensiveness. It's not, like, really important, but we would like to finish this mission tree if possible. The West Moors, right. Soren Coast? <sighs> Who is that? What is that? Hmm. Where are you? Down here, and you're under... Ah, lo War of Liberation, that's interesting. Ruby Hold and Wex. Do we want to fight them right now? Hmm. No, not right now. Sorry, mate. Not right now. So we have these. Oh, you're fighting the green scale. The green scale? Oh, up there. Huh? The green scale is. Oh, right. Getting wrecked, son. Could ally the gnomes here, right? Anti monstrous conquest, right? Off reliance. Mm -hmm. Hierarchy the thought. Who doesn't like Laurent? Just me. Alright. Hmm. I have no interest in going down here right now, I think. So maybe we can get. Arboran as an ally. Let's see, are we above limit, by the way? Nope, that's 4 to 4, alright. I will try and integrate Westmoors when possible. When can we actually? I guess after 10 years. Create a ton of Zavazel. Oh, we cannot really do it now. Interesting, alright. It takes. F okay. 6. It will hamper this. But let's just start it. Okay. Yeah. Great Dukin. Got orcs here. Uh, yes. Oh. A union under them? Anperand and Laurent. Oh, okay. Hmm. 
Hmm. Did I completely turn off the music or? I think it's, yeah, it's there now. Hmm. Right, so we did that. Sure. Is this going down again? It is. Slowly. Optimizes state, army, forts. Uh, I guess we could do an edict here in the capital. It's usually very cheap when it's in the capital, or almost free. More manpower? Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's get some more manpower. It's a bit low, actually. And could you pop out an, an air? Yep, yeah. Guess we have time, unless he dies in a moment. these two regions we got claims on. Alright. But that's in the Empire. I don't want to fight them right now. We're fighting Wex as well. That would mean a war with Laurent. Mm, yeah. Dragon Heights. Big mountain chain. A lot of cobbles in there, if I recall. Stovan. Rabat, sure. 303. Oh boy. Well, point wise, it's more than his father, so. I guess that's something. But, uh, at least we're, we are avoiding getting inherited. <laughs> so that's good. Mm mm mm. So war with the rent. We get claims there. Okay. Need this stuff. Small country and river coast. There and small country. Gnomish Pass. Okay, former march. Did we reach a cap? No, not at all. But do we want to buy more troops? Hmm. So it's more manpower and cheaper, right? I guess what would Kavet be like? Russia, maybe. In U4, Mage of Renown, Prestige. Just give me the Prestige. Mm, not sure. We're not really colonizing Ascavet, I think. Not really. Not like a Siberian frontier. Maybe a bit like... I see maybe their rivalry a bit like France and England, perhaps. Or France and Spain, something like that. Or you're invading uh, Riveria. Right. Okay. The rent. They do have a tendency, if I recall, to st moth, uh, not mothball, steamroll, <laughs> like blob a bit, Laurent here. Very dangerous because this area here is very well developed, if I recall. Yeah, pretty good. Ours is a bit less. Yeah, this area down here, it's pretty good. Like Western Europe, Central Europe. I think this is like Poland ish. Must be a bit like Poland, go ahead. Just worse. <laughs> Maybe. I'm just saving up money. For now. For the Mage Tower. Yeah, we also have uh, spells in this. Oh, nice. In this mod. If you can become a Sorcerer King. They tend to have very high stats here. And then I think, I'm not sure if it's in here, or they changed it since last time I played. Where you have as many of spells you can use, like blow down, blow up walls and stuff like that. This is completely still. 
Not great. Why are you over to... okay. Hmm. Do you have claims on them, I wonder? You have one here. Not a permanent one, though. You have claims on the gnomes. What happened with these fellas? Are they still... Oh, no. The humans took over. I think it was humans. No, it's elves. Okay. Filthy elves on my shore? Uh, just do this. Nims God. Okay, you took a bunch of provinces there. Uh, ooh. Getting ahead of me here. Not great. I will gain, once I integrate these fellas though, I will gain another... 37 or something? Uh... Sure. Oh, you're attacking them now, alright. Marsh. Hmm. Take the blame? Rough. Ah, nah, do this. Damn it. Dwarven cartels. What's going on here? Small tolerance increase, uh, unrest, no. Production down, but trade up. Yeah, just a bit of an unrest. In Vanbury, Gabberton, Bald Father. <laughs> so I think we have frozen more. I think there's that's orcs. Yeah. Great clan. Clan. Uh, what are you? I think you're just humans. Human majority. Primary, yeah. I think the coast here is mainly humans. Up here as well. It's like Scandinavia up here. <laughs> Op troll. That's trolls, though. Okay, separatist. Ooh, okay, the left again. Oh, you are next to uh, Riveria. Interesting. We can do another diet. Ah, here we have spells. I don't think... Yeah, we don't have any made, so no need to click it. Uh, let's see. Boost that. Gawet, support the independence of Appleton. Okay. We could do it and then just not do it. Do this again. Development down. Doesn't really help us. I think I want to do this. Appleton. Support Appleton. Where is Appleton? There. Who is your overlord? Laurent. Oh, no. Uh, diplomat. And end. <laughs> Leap done. Okay. Yeah, we're above it, so I just did it for the points here. This changes everything. The so-called Renaissance. So, it's another text here, I think. Since their arrival in the 11th century, the enigmatic elves... Right, so a couple of centuries ago, the elves arrived. And the half-elven progeny have led the world in pa pa uh, patronizing artists and scholars willing to explore the ancient elven and the Marian societies of their forefathers. As a cultural movement, the Renaissance already encompasses most of the region and has had a profound impact on literature, art, philosophy and music. Enlightened scholars are also analyzing the society in which they live, comparing it to the ideals of the classical philosophers. At the turn of the 1450s, Renaissance humanism has grown into a more mature movement ready to permeate all aspects of society. A new ideal for rulers as well as those who have ruled in spreading as quickly as possible as the early printers can di uh, distribute copies of their new ideas. A true Renaissance humanist is an expert on everything from politics and philosophy to art, a tex textual and uh, analysis, music and architecture. Wonderful. Look. And, sorry mate, just did it for 50 points. You can understand. I will save you at some point.
once I get some balls. So where did it pop again? Renaissance. Oh, down here. Okay. Oh. Okay. Well, it should be growing up here. Yeah. Yeah, I think we're like Poland, maybe. <laughs> this area here. A few provinces that's decent, and then a lot of not so good provinces, but potential for a lot of growth. We shall so show those southerners and elves how things get done here on the Atlantic frontier. I think it's called that, right? Yeah. Dragon Coast. Oh, I said that this looked like a dragon's head. I think it still does, but maybe it's the whole thing. Like, this is the whole mouth? I'm not really sure. Could be that as well. Yeah, maybe. I don't think like this actually show looks like a dragon's head. But I can also see mouth here as well. Yeah. <laughs> so, let's see. Four more years? Ish, yeah. Oh, one of those uh, expeditions. Anpen cost expedition. That could colonize this area out here. Castanor. It's pretty large, I think, if I recall. It's like down here. Yeah. Down here is like a wood elves, wood elven wood. <laughs> but something like this. It's pretty fun. Just saving up money for war treasury, for inevitable war with Laurent and friends. So. That's just plains, though. Not a great place for a fort. Grey mill. I'd rather have one here at two fork. Hmm. The woods. Halfling. Should we try and accept halflings? There's a lot of halflings down here, if I recall. We do have some. Where's that little thingy -ma thing here? Racial policies. 21% uh, and we're oppressing them. Are they really that bad? Focus. Oh, it costs diplomatic. Change your... Uh, oppressed. Uh, we'll wait a bit, but I do want to accept them at some point. They're not elves. <laughs> And gnomes and halflings and dwarves, that's fine. Gawet doesn't like elves because of Laurent, so that's that. The strip. Hmm. Who is this again? Okay. Uh, Vertesk. Who are you at? If I attack you, Wex will come to aid, and they will also bring in Laurent, so that's. Uh, that's a mouthful. Much more than I can deal with. So let's not do that. Maybe when the Emperor is busy, go down and grab it. And we could take a tech. Ooh, temples. Interesting. We can also wait a bit. See when we may maybe get a minus ten here. Discount. Temples cost fifty percent more for countries not embrace feudalism. Okay. Well, we do have feudalism. Yeah. Oh, they do not. Okay. Uh, great. Halflings. We do have a lot of cavalry. I don't recall. Do we get a lot of bonus? Ca yeah, we do get a bonus cavalry here. Flanking range and ability. A bit like the Polish. So, yeah. I guess we're a bit like Poland here. Infantry company building. Yeah, most of these are actually military ideas, <laughs> except this one. Even our three ideas up here are military. So. Yep. Guess we need it. 
Okay, 80%. Adventurers wanted. The Bloodfill Bandits. Uh, resolving? Oh, right, we need... Oh, right, there's this adventurous thing here. What? Ennoblement? Generous quest rewards. Mm. Sponsor sell. Oh, Jesus. Chances of removing certain adventure. Read privilege description. Eh? Rogues. Bandits are robbing. Bandits roaming bandits. Adventurers wanted. Mm -hmm. Can I see? Is there a map move for this? The host. A large group of Cadesti nomads have crossed the borders and enters, entered our domain. These people are an odd bunch, having mastered the magical art of divination. The fortune tellers are quite popular with those who can afford their services. What? Uh, blup. Moreover, as a group of experienced travelers, they have picked up some unique artistry techniques and their bards are highly praised. However, stark contrast between the customs in Gawet and the Cadestis might prove troublesome in the future. Leave them to their business for now. Mm okay. Werewolves. Adventurers. Generous ennoblement. Hmm. Monster hunters. Cell swords. Five. Okay, so it's just absolutism. I don't. <sighs> so. And we should just set immediately what. I need to pl click instead of actually uh, read and figure out is the cell swords for robbers? I would assume so, but right? Sometime, blah blah blah, cell swords dealing with mundane things, fighting bandits and orcish raiders. Right, so I guess we can click this one, right, right? Corruption. Ugh. And up here we had like vamp, no, werewolves. So I would assume we need like paladins or whatever it was, monster hunters, beast slayers. Ugh. Reliant cultures, uh, they can deal with, call them esoteric. Mm, bee slayers. Large monsters, do gooders. <laughs> holy paladins. Clearing, dealing with all things unholy. Ghoul or zombies, rogues. Hmm. Like, <laughs> which one would it be? I would assume. Vampires and cultists, that's not werewolves though. Beast slayers. Blah blah blah. Big game hunters. Slaying beasts and other large monsters. Wyvern Wyvern or Do Gooders. <sighs> Missionary strength. Oh it's different uh debuffs. Well we're not really converting anything. I guess try this. Uh, I wonder if there's a map mode for showing these quests. I only spotted two so far. Oh, that's the one with the werewolf, right? Howl in the night. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, we could build this fort over here. Oh boy, what now? Uh, okay. I don't have any claims, though. Sure, I'll help. Ah! Run away! You going in? Good. 
congrats, my boy. You siege there. Scandal at the court. Ugh, this again. Westmore. Uh, remove decreases. Alarath, no more elves. Elven, half elven. Oh, okay. Goodbye. Sure, sure. Oh, damn, the gnomes are getting it on here. Westmore. Uh, no, don't actually. Be gone soon. Oh, I could probably. Let's see. Issue embargo for a few more points here. Yeah, we would like to get to plus 25. Insult would work as well. Which is here. Ten. It will cost us what? Mm. Yeah, just do that. Cost a bit of prestige. Now we get plus one though to our monarch powers, right? No, we need fifty. God damn it! It's another uh, leader, right? My bad. Should probably cut, but let's just finish this war here. Gawet, I gained that one, sure. I would like that one, because why not? Can I... Zzz, 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 oh, we can do... Wex? No, not while at war. Uh, I can't do this while at war, okay. Oh. You didn't... Okay, 20 favors. I could remove this from the Empire. Do I want to? Fine, I guess. Westmores. Well, no, because you're about to get a next, my boy. <laughs> right now. So, yep. Dragon Coast. Mission cancelled. Oh, I inherited a navy. Alright. Go to the former capital. Can make states. Yes. 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 How are we doing here? Okay, almost at the cap. We gained you. Combine. Let's also do army maintenance down and this here. What do we have here? A mix of things. One heavy, alright. One trade ship. Sure. Okay. Appleton. No. Right. We can do... Whoops. Not mine. Integrate Westmores. The Westmores have always had a certain autonomy within the kingdom. Though with that they have let the region... Though with that they have let the region disarray and... They have let the region in disarray and poverty. We must bring them closer to the crown and take matters in our own hands. So we get monthly autonomy change down in those areas we just got. And subjugation causes better independent human nations in Western Atlantic Reach. Colnodarian Heights. Okay. Must be up here, right? Yeah. 
So I think these are elves, right? Yeah, we don't like them. Evermark and Reach Spire. They, you are at war, though. Interesting. Hmm. Who would help you? These fellas here. Could probably do that, right? Conquest. Oh, none of them would help. Now that is interesting. Neither would you, but that's okay. Oh, I think I want to just do this immediately. None of the allies will help them except Serpent Guard, which is you up there. But look, that's not a whole lot. We'll do this and end the episode. So, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell button. I very much appreciate your support. And a big extra thanks to my channel members, Wiscomet, Jonathan Crane, Confused Insurgent, Ozymandias, Brandon Adams, Moxie King, and Sumit Mayeka. Thanks again. See you next time. Bye.